Um, this activity is about navigating the iOS. We're going to learn, we're going to see uh, in the Packet Tracer software how to basically set up a basic connections, also how to access the CLI, the command line interface, and also exploring the exit mode and setting the clock. All right, so you can see uh, this is uh, these are two machines, uh, sorry, one machine, PC1, and the other is a switch, S1. And uh, let's first uh, make a connection uh, with, uh, you know, S1. And let's make a console uh, cable connection. So I'm going to go to the connection icon. I'm going to select it. All right. And there is this uh, console uh, console cable of yeah so this is the console cable option so if i click on it it turns into a do not uh, you know sign and uh, so i'm going to take this to the pc1 and since it's going to be an uh, a serial uh, uh, communication and console cable so i'm going to select the rs232 uh, and i'm going to you know connect this with the switch uh, s1 and the, the port is console port so now I have uh, basically connected uh, PC1 uh, to switch S1. Now I'm going to try to establish a terminal uh, session uh, with S1. I'm going to quick click to uh, PC1 and go to the desktop. And uh, there is this uh, terminal, um, you know, uh, box. It basically, uh, I mean, uh, a new, uh, you know, uh, dialog box pops up. Terminal configuration, uh, everything is, is okay. Click OK. And now this basically, you know, opens the terminal connection uh, of PC1 to uh, switch 1. If I press enter, now I have uh, basically entered into the switch 1 uh, console port. So I'm going to now use some iOS commands. So first of all, if I do not know anything, I'm going to just write a question mark. And uh, as you can see, it shows me all the different uh, commands that are available to me uh, at this mode. So there's a connect command, disable command, disconnect command, and, and uh, you know, some other commands. And similarly, if I, if I know, uh, you know, uh, some commands, some, some letters of a particular command, and I do not know the, 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 the complete name of that command, I can just, you know, write uh, the initial letters and then the question mark. And it shows me, you know, there is no such uh, command starting with TE. How about CO? CO and then space question mark. So, so then it says, you know, there are some other commands that you can use. Word, IP, address, or host name of a remote system. So these type of commands that, you know, you can use. So now let's uh, explore the exit uh, mode that, you know, um, that is that are available to us in a typical iOS. So if I want to enter into a privileged uh, exit mode, so I need to basically run a command. But since I need, do not need, let me write question mark and then there are the list of commands. So enable is a command, as you can see, that turn on the privileged uh, uh, commands. So I write enable. And you can see the prompt it has changed uh, to a different sign so that basically you know uh, uh, confirms that you know i am in the privileged uh, exit uh, mode right now similarly i can basically you know uh, complete some other commands so if i only know the en and press a tab so it basically completes the rest of the uh, of the of this of the word so this is another way of basically completing commands like this tab all right and now i can also enter into a global uh, configuration mode uh, for that i need to execute the command uh, configure and it asks it is asking me uh, for uh, what uh, particular thing you want to configure terminal memory or network so i can just say configure you know like uh, config I can just press enter and it basically you know enters me into the configuration mode 
And if I press, if I want to get out of this uh, mode, config, uh, global configuration mode, I have to write exit. And now I am in um, in the uh, exit, uh, privileged exit mode. And if I also want to uh, get uh, out of this exit mode, I have to press again enter. And then now I am in the console uh, mode, which is the user uh, mode. So let me quickly write enable. So and now I am in the exit mode. And um, I'm gonna set a clock now. So let's uh, let's use the clock command and see what it does. So here you go. So clock command, and then there is this question mark uh, because I do not know the parameters. So I have put a question mark, and it shows me that I have to use this set, which basically set the time and date. So let's write um, this clock and then set, and I do not know what to do what to do next. So now it, it is telling me that I have to mention, you know, the current time. So let's say clock set and then the time, let's say it's going to be, you know, uh, 3, 23, 23 minutes and uh, 15 seconds. And I, I do not know what to, what to write next. So now it is telling me I have to mention the day. All right. So this is, uh, let's say the 13th. And then question mark. I do not know what to do next. And now it, it is telling me that I have to mention the month. So let's say it's November. Okay. And now a question mark. So I have to mention the year. So let's say 2015. All right. So now the clock is set. There is no error. Okay. So now how can I see the clock, which I have the time, which I have just set. So I'm going to have to write show and then the clock command and it shows me the time which I have which I have just uh, set. And there are some other commands that you can also, you know, uh, explore. As I, I have already told you, just write question mark and it shows you all the list of commands in this particular uh, privilege exit mode. See, and I keep on pressing enter, it shows me all the list of commands.